Hi, welcome to a short little video here on layers. Um, in Photoshop, when you add text, it makes it on a whole new layer. When you draw, you draw on a layer, but whenever you want, you can click New Layer, and this pops a new layer up. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, let me give you an example. I'm going to click New Layer, calls it Layer 1. I'm going to double click on the name here. This lets me change it. I'm going to call it Sun. I'm going to take my brush, yellow, make sure you're on the Sun layer, and I'm going to draw a quick Sun there. Very artistic. Now that I have my Sun done, the nice thing about the Sun is I can always take the Move tool and I can move it around independently of all the other layers. So that's really one of the big purposes of layers, is that you get to move them and size them, and it doesn't change the other layers around. Whereas a lot of simple graphics programs, once you draw, it's drawn, and everything is just clumped together. A uh, neat thing you can see here, the sun is underneath the text, because the text layer is up high, sun layer is down low. If I want to bring the sun layer up by click and dragging all the way up, now the sun's on top of the text, and so you can see the overall effect there. Now, what happens if you want to move a couple layers around? Well, moving one layer is fine. Here's my border. We made a while back in another video, but the border was not attached to the chicken. But I want them to move together. So here's what I can do. I'll just go Control-Alt-Z to go backwards. I can use the control key and I can say the sun, the border, and the chicken. So I was holding the control key while I did that. Now when I click and drag, I have all the layers moving together. So I can sort of center it. I can take the Mr. Chicken, move it around, make it look a bit better. Okay, uh, That's one way. Another neat thing you can do with layers as they start to pile up is you can create a group. So check this out. I'll take the border, the sun, and the chicken. And right up here, a little menu. I'm going to create a new group from the layers. And I'm going to call this chicken picture. OK. And look what it's done. It's made a little folder, and in that folder, it has the three layers. So it sort of makes it convenient. You can just hide those layers up, eyeball all of them at the same time if you want. And you can even have this whole folder selected with the Move tool and move them around together or even just turn them together. So it's actually a pretty neat little thing you can do once your pictures start getting a little more complicated and you have a lot of things together. So I think you'll find those things with the layers really useful. Come back again for another layer video.